hello this is sj talks and life coming back at you with another video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button please and thank you <sighs> black um black women and men this gender war that's going on between black women and black men um ongoing gender war that's going on between black women and black men keep going back and forth saying black women say black men lack accountability which they do um, and then black men will come back and say black women lack accountability they'll say the same thing about us black women don't take accountability and then black women will say, black men don't take accountability. Well, that's a known fact that there's no accountability um, more so on the black men's side because everything is put on, placed on black women's shoulders in the black community. In the black community, everything is placed on the black women's shoulders and everything that's going wrong in the black community is being blamed by black women are being blamed for it you know black single parent households is the first thing that people say um instead of saying they're growing people the children are growing up in households without a father or saying that they're growing up in households without the benefit of two parents that would be actually the correct thing to say but instead they say well it's the reason why this is happening is because they're raised by single black parents single black mothers so, um, and that's what everything going wrong in the black community across the board, they blame it on the single mothers instead of saying they're being raised without fathers in the home or they're being raised without the benefit of two parents to properly, to have that balance to properly influence the child. So, um, you know, um, Black black women, um, the black men are saying the black women are, um, you know, having children outside of marriage, and because of that, this is everything that's ha happening in the black community. They say the black women are not taking accountability, but um, most ha head of the households are being ran by black females, not black men. So, how is that not taking accountability? You know, because most of the house, the single parent households are being ran by black women. They're not being ran by black men. Most majority of them are being ran by black women. So how is that not taking accountability? You know, because most, most of the children are being raised. Most of the single parent households are ran by black women. So... That's take that's taking account of, that's accountability. You know, right there. But that's what they say. It's 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 a talking point that they use. It's, it's one of their talking points. One of their that's one of their main talking points is that black women don't take accountability. That's just that's just a talking point that they have. Um because because black women basically hold black men accountable. Black women are holding black men accountable. Um, they're asking the question that why are black fathers stepping up more and helping to raise the children? And um, and they're talking about the issues in the black community concerning the black men, and and they hold they're holding the black men accountable. And because they're holding the black they are holding the black men accountable, then that in turn the black men are saying y'all not taking accountability. Because we're, we, we expect the black men to provide. We expect the men to provide. We expect the men to step up and be fathers to the children. We have that expectation. And so they got an issue with us having that expectation. So they say we don't take accountability. Because we call it out. We call it out the way it is. And because we call it out. They're saying we're not taking accountability. But black black women 
um, um, black women are um, also, that's what we say, black men don't take accountability. But actually, what it boils down to is both black women and black men both need to take accountability. What it all boils down to. Black women and black men need to take accountability instead of going back and forth and saying black women need to take accountability or black men need to take accountability as to prove a point and talking and, and having discussions on the issues in, that's going on in the black community in the midst of having discussions of when we're talking about issues in the black community, going back and forth, black men saying black women need to be take accountability, black women saying black men need to take accountability. But what it all boils down to is that both black women and black men need to take accountability. Because you know why black women and black men need to take accountability? It's because of the children. It's because our children need us to take accountability. Our children, our black children need black men and black women to take accountability. We both need to take accountability. It's not just one-sided. See, it's not one-sided. Black men and black women need to take accountability. Because to say you can you can you can say well the reasons why everything is happening in the black community and um there's a lot of follow followless followless homes and this and that and the other you can say well it's because of uh white supremacy um you can say it's because of um, well, because um, they've been breaking up families, the system, the white supremacy, um, the white man, or you could say the white man been breaking up black families since the beginning of time. Since slavery, which they did, they did break up black families back in slavery. They've been doing it systematically over the years and you can you can say the welfare system broke up the black families. You can blame it on the welfare system. You could you could say uh, because of white supremacy, um, and 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 our families were broken up from in slavery, which is true. And you could you could say all that, and you could you can say all that makes a good talking point. But when do we take responsibility? At what point? All that is true. But at what point when there, that a time comes when we take responsibility, black people, meaning black men and women, take responsibility. At what point do we take responsibility? Okay. Because God gave us a brain. He gave us the ability to reason. And black people are very smart. We're very smart people. We're not dumb. Now, I know that's a, one of the misconceptions that we are, but black people are not stupid. Our people are not stupid. Our people are very smart. God gave us knowledge just like he gave it to everybody else. He didn't just give it to everybody else and, and he didn't give it to us. He gave us knowledge. See, this is the reason why blaming white supremacy is only going to go so far. Well, historically, uh, they've always broken up our families, which is true. But that's only going to, but, but putting it on white supremacy is only going to go so far. That's only going to go so far. At what point do we take responsibility? See, at what point do we take accountability and and use the the, the the sense that God gave us to have to do better? If we know better, we need to do better. 
At what point do we take accountability as black men and black women? Well, you know, I take accountability and start taking responsibilities for our own actions and 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 and, and what we're what we're doing to contribute to these problems. Do we need to stop having sex outside of marriage? Do we need to stop making creating families outside of the the marriage structure? Do we need to go study and read our Bible and, and, and learn how to do things the way God told us to do it? Do we need to learn to be a more obedient to God? Maybe that's the answer. Maybe the answer is, is we need to be more obedient to God, to God and maybe start doing things the way God told us to do it. Maybe our way is not working. Creating families outside of marriage. Well, how's that working out for us? That's not working out for us too well. Trying to do things on our own, do it, doing things our way. It's not working out for us too well. Maybe we need to start doing things the way God told us to do it. Maybe we need to start learning to be more obedient to God. Maybe that's what we need to start doing. And we, we we need to, both black men and women, both need to take accountability for our children. We need to do that for our, 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 our children because our children are, are, are suffering because our children are suffering and our, our children are at a disadvantage because both of us are not taking accountability. It's like the house being on fire and everybody standing around trying to figure out what, what to do instead of taking the action and doing it. You're standing around figuring out what to do when you really should be taking action. Well, the, in the black community, the house is on fire. Everybody's sitting around and trying to discuss on how to, how to put the fire out when people should be taking action to put it out. Okay, people should be doing things, doing better instead of talking about what should be done. People need to actually be doing it because our children are at a disadvantage. Our children are suffering because black men and black women can't get it together. Maybe the solution is the solution is black women start vetting, vetting more and start increasing the requirement requirements and start vetting more start start um thinking about you know um abstaining celibacy until marriage same goes for men for black men waiting until you have a stable uh, mate before um having children waiting until you have a stable income before having children. So these are the things that we need to be teaching our young people. See, we need to be teaching our Bible, Bible, Bible principles. These are the things that we need to be teaching our children. Instead of just going back and forth with this gender war, talking about who need to take accountability. We both need, we all need to take accountability. Because look at the, look at the condition of the black community. The black community is in the condition that it's in because no one wants to take accountability and start taking steps to do better for the sake of our children because our children are what? Our children are our future. And, and the cycle is going to continue. This vicious cycle of what's going on in our black communities is going to continue if we don't start taking accountability we don't start teaching our children but we have to be better the parents have to be better in order for the children to be better or the vicious cycle is going to continue see vicious cycle is going to we got to learn more self control we have to learn more self control black men and women need to learn self control 
and get back down to Bible principles. Be more obedient to God. All of all adults have to take account accountability. Everybody got to take accountability. It's not one sided. It's not just black men need to take accountability, or just black women need to take accountability. Every black man and black women need to take accountability. How about that? We both genders need to take accountability. Bottom line. So, just want to get that said. Hit that subscribe button, that like, and that share. And hit that notification bell so every time I do a video, you'll be notified. And until the next video, be blessed.